Why did you do that? Do what? Bless yourself. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you go into a church? Yes, but do you know why? Because everyone else does? A good guess, but no. It all goes back to the day you were born. <laughs> Where am I? Your mother's womb. Oh my gosh. This is disgusting. What's going on? This is the day of your physical birth. Whoa, this is so epic. And as epic as this day is, there's something even more important. What can be more important than my birth? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Notice anything? Yes. The hideous sweater that my dad is wearing. Okay, how about something slightly more significant? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's what I say when I bless myself with the holy water. That's right. See, I pay attention. <laughs> when you were baptized, you became part of the family of God. That's how you entered the faith. And so, every time you enter a church, there is a holy water font with the same blessed water that made you a new creation in Christ. I see. I like it. Where to now? The body of Christ. Second grade, wow. I am adorable. Michael. Wait, I don't remember this. It hasn't happened yet. Michael. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But my name isn't Michael. That's your confirmation name. It symbolizes your new life in Christ. No, no, you said my new life began in baptism. Confirmation increases and deepens the graces of baptism. Oh. In baptism, you were born. In confirmation, you assume the role of disciple and witness to Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Without it, your baptismal grace is incomplete. Huh, interesting. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to lay to rest Thomas Michael Smith. Whoa, hold on. I'm dead? Well, someday you will be. In baptism, he died with Christ, but no, now- No, stop! Are you saying that I am in this coffin? See for yourself. Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.